Hi Leos, welcome to Miraki the Tribe. My name is Ayushi and I am going to do your April 2018. Okay, by the way, this is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. So this is uh, for April 2018. What are the messages coming in for the sign of Leo? So Leos, you are keeping your emotions, your resources to yourself. You don't want to share it with anyone because you feel threatened or you... Uh, or you want to stay in control of your emotions or you are extending your love to, towards someone and they are holding back they are not sharing they are not uh, opening up can be a water sign because the bottom of the deck was mother of cups What are the messages coming in for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising? 10 card Celtic Cross, April 2018. What are the important messages for the sign of Leo's? Important messages. Okay, so we will begin. Just two more shuffles. last shuffle okay okay so heart of the matter here is the father of swords someone is cutting and very direct to the point uh, not emotional very rational, very logical, very professional. What's uh, crossing is the Ten of Swords. So some of you are feeling very, very betrayed, very let down, very disappointed, very uncared for, very cheated uh, because of this person. It can be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius or a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising or it can be any other sign. This person can be uh, very cutting. This can be you as well. Uh, someone uh, here... Um, is fighting a battle for a very very long time it's been very exhausting battle leo i think your reading is going to be a bit tough in past uh, you had the empress so you were dealing with someone who was very productive very uh, like someone who has their own business uh, you were also uh, probably this person who had uh, your own business or you still have it probably you became a mother or someone around you became a mother now this card also uh, shows that uh, someone was very mothering, very caring in the past and uh, some uh, some in spiritual uh, connection you must have felt with someone or just on your own. On your mind you are leaving a situation with a very heavy heart. Uh, you feel that you have been let down and you are not being reciprocated. Your feelings, are, your feelings have been uh, gone to waste or something or um, you feel that you have a better place to go to and it's better to leave the situation which is not serving you anymore so you are leaving the situation which is emotionally draining for you in future uh, you have the emperor card so almost all the signs have had empress and the emperor and this is very interesting that this is happening to almost every sign here that i'm doing reading for so emperor and empress so this is either you guys, uh, if you are coupled, you are a very power couple or you can be or this is just Aries uh, season. So this is coming up uh, because this is the Aries card. Also, this is a Taurus card. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Um, sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, in future, you will probably have a control over the situation. You will be either meeting someone of a authority like a father figure or someone who is in a position of authority. Uh, you would be dealing with someone uh, who deals with a lot of people, uh, who supervises a lot of people, who guides, leads and uh, who is like a uh, someone who is followed or someone who administ and administers some, something. It can be uh, a lawyer or a judge as well because we have the father of swords here. Now uh, what I also feel here is that um, 
some of you are uh, dominating someone or someone is dominating you now you come up in your reading as a uh, son of wands so you are uh, excited about something in your life you want to uh, move towards that new excitement you are attentive you want to tell someone you like them or you are just full of energy and excitement here you you are playful as well N not very serious now um, your surrounding is eight of pentacles so someone around you is very very focused on their work they are very um, they are very um, meticulous when it comes to work uh, and you can also be this person you want to be this uh, sort of person you want to invest uh, in your um, work or you are excited about your work or uh, you are just watching someone work or you are uh, hoping to work it can also mean that someone is uh, surrounded by a lot of work another couple here because you we already had the father of swords we now have the mother of swords so you fear someone who is very cutting very or you are hoping to be someone who is very bitter <laughs> or you want to be sharp or you want to uh, cut someone out of your life or you just don't want any drama in your life anymore or, or you are fearing a air sign or someone who is just like how i described right now someone is a no nonsense person here now how or the the outcome card here is the ten of pentacles sorry not pentacles ten of cups so it can be pentacles as well if you have uh, something related to family then your happiness is coming from your family 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 members or th this card itself is just saying that you are very emotionally fulfilled by the end of the month so the reason can be anything uh, probably because you have gained control over the situation that's why you are happy but we will see what is this uh, what is it about now the bottom of the deck here is that someone was deceptive someone was uh, lying cheating being deceptive holding information uh, someone um, not being true to themselves or to the other person someone hiding something someone working behind the scenes someone not not being honest now uh, these two are uh, the cards below the deck here so you are face to face with someone like a water sign or uh, there is some you are looking towards a water sign and they are looking away from you or a water sign is looking towards you but you are looking away from them so there is no eye to eye uh, you are not seeing someone eye to uh, like eye to eye and you are hiding something or this person is hiding something from you now i will clear the cards here clarify it okay leo now please clarify what is this father of swords for leo as the heart of the matter who is this professional cutting person or what is this um, seriousness about for leo sun moon rising why is leo so serious you are serious with a water sign or water sign is serious with you uh, in a way that they are communicating very seriously uh it is regarding a work uh, because you, we have ace of pentacles here and uh, it can be about a starting or a new beginning someone has uh, literally, be, literally been pushing someone uh, into a battle ground and someone has been defending for a very long time because we have nine of wands twice here someone is also putting lot of def defense mechanism and someone is trying to move away from a situation which is uh, very taxing on their mind so they are moving to a, towards a very calmer place because they are tired of the battle also they have probably found some work op opportunity uh, somewhere uh, the universe is bringing uh, them money or something and they are going to approach uh, or some earth sign is bringing some of the leos here a financial offer or a new opportunity or someone is trying to spend some time with someone here with it can be aries as well you are being asked to take risk or someone has been, uh, someone has been really foolish here with regards to this uh, professional uh, thing because this person is very very serious and there there has been very uh, emotional
emotional exchange the um, the betrayal is from a water sign pisces cancer scorpio sun moon rising someone who is very emotional or someone who this cannot be emotional because something has come into balance because of this betrayal uh, or you could be dealing with a sagittarius uh, or you have to deal with this with this situation with a lot of patience and uh, balance things out because uh, don't extend too much don't overextend yourself what is this fight what is this uh, battle that leo is fighting day and night what is this uh, that leo is not giving up on leo sun moon rising what is this you want to be independent you want to be uh, self only self dependent and you have a very important choice to make here but some truth has come to light and uh, now because of that truth that has been spoken uh, someone has cut someone out of their life or something a tar a tar uh, there is a tar card here so a tar has fallen and this could be from a pisces person because there is a a uh, moon behind this uh, tar and the moon card is about uh, is a pisces or a cancer card uh, it can also be a, a scorpio or a aries person something has come down and you are now pretty single some of you uh, and you have decided to be single as well in a, if you had a choice i think you have decided to be single or someone has decided to be single and they have left the relationship or they were fighting for something and now they are leaving it because they they are done probably someone has spoken the truth it could be a, Gem, a gemini uh, libra or aquarius as well what is this empress card someone has decided to stay single uh, to be single who was this loving person the loving person in the past uh, could be a mother figure or someone uh who is a karmic uh, who has a karmic um something karmic going on here it could be family thing someone someone was missing someone in the past it could be what is this six of cups for leo whatever this was it was burdening you a lot this karma it was burdening you a lot something related to uh, even sex lust or um, something related to a lot of passion it could be your own passion like something creative that you wanted to start uh, some step you wanted to take regarding your dream it's burdening you and it's very karmic you are missing your childhood as well something of that sort what is this eight of cups why is leo leaving a situation with a heavy heart or why is someone leaving a situation with a leo with a heavy heart uh, because the judgment uh, because of the judgment so someone has uh, made a very um, stone decision yes or no sort of a decision uh, they have decided uh, something uh, that their path is as there and they are going to take that path and they are not going to return or uh, it could be regarding a relationship as well they want to be happy they want their own happiness or with a partner and it could be with a scorpio that you have to leave a situation with a scorpio for your happiness or happiness of both the people yes um, you were fighting uh, to defend yourself but uh, but you have a judgment call to make would you want to just keep doing this over and over again because bottom of the deck here is the five of swords so someone was uh, fighting a ego battle here something which is a lot lose lose situation for whoever is fighting this battle uh, it's not going to serve anyone uh and so you are moving away from a situation because you know it's not going to serve you so you are making that final judgment about something now 
you are moving forward to the position of an emperor either you are meeting a aries person or a scorpio as well uh, let's see uh, what is this what is this emperor in the future for leo's it can be earth sign taurus virgo capricorn someone who is working uh, but th this person will take a lot lot of time to come and it's about a home life or someone balancing the karma or something related to getting into a stable uh, ground or someone celebrating some something in their life what is this uh, emperor the knight of pentacles and the commitment there is some commitment uh, here someone is waiting on some information someone is also spying in future someone is waiting for someone to bring them a message uh, message of commitment probably or something related to st stability someone can be a bit uh, daydreamy or very very wishful thinking sort of a feeling is here what is the son of wands why is leo coming up as son of wands okay uh, leo you are communicating uh, with someone or you yes there is a death to a situation death card scorpio card also so there is a death to a situation you were communicating back and forth back and forth regarding the situation or with this person uh, it involved a family uh, but um, someone was bitter over this someone uh, was very cutting over this they were very very sharp and not so emotional about this but because this is coming up as you so you are not very emotional you are thinking very logical uh, it is related to abundance uh, ten of pentacles so you uh, want a family with someone but you wanted a family with someone but uh, uh, this person is very very far from you and or this person is going to travel towards you or you want to travel towards this person uh, but there is a death to this situation whatever the plan was it has ended i don't know how to show this card this is the death card the situation has ended what is this work card Uh, for the Leo Sun Moon rising in the month of April, what is this work card for the Leo Sun Moon rising in the month? The work card is related to Wheel of Fortune, so you have to start something that is uh, on your path, like a spiritual journey or your passion. You have to start something of that sort. to bring something in balance or you need to balance something where you are giving too much or um, uh, if you are taking too much from a from someone like their time their money their uh, whatever you are taking from this person you need to give it back to this person uh, some of you have found new love at workplace this is ace of cups or your work is providing you lot of emotional satisfaction um, however you have to leave a situation which is not serving you or holding you emotionally very um, in a very um, in a very painful situation where uh, you are not able to leave a situation because you have invested so much of your emotions that you don't feel like moving ahead you don't want to try for something new you don't want to give something a new start so you are still thinking about it should i should i not should i should i not Uh, but it's futile to think on those lines. If it, if something has stopped serving you, better move away and live a better life. What is this uh, mother of swords here in hopes and fears for Leo, Sun Moon rising? This mother of swords is someone uh, you are having a battle with. You fear this person. Okay. it can be a uh, air sign uh, but uh, you, you this is a ego battle that you are having this with this person like a uh, bitterness with this person like a um, just like a fight with this person for some reason but whoever will win the battle is actually going to lose the battle because they will lose the relationship 
Now there is someone who was a bit um a bit a narcissist here uh, and <clears throat> some some mother of sword has cut this person out of their life because they were uh, pretending to be someone else someone was a snake here and you fear this situation you fear that you have lost something in this situation <clears throat> you regret this situation you feel a sense of loss over this situation that probably you are not able, you are crying over spilt milk but there is no point now for you something has come to an end by the end of the month here this is the world card uh, luckily whatever this ending is it's bringing you a lot of emotional joy and happiness uh, and the empress card is again here so you are feeling very productive very in your like on top of your game or you are meeting a Taurus person or someone uh, very loving very nurturing what is this world card for the Leo Sun Moon rising what is this ten of cups for Leo what is this uh, happiness and ending about for Leo Sun Moon rising for the month of April 2018 Empress card again and the five of cups in the fool card so something related to you taking a risk about something but the uh, there is still going to be some um, you know someone feeling very very sad about a situation where they lost something or they lost this empress person who was very productive or very um, nurturing or very loving or caring or, or or a mother so either some of you have lost a really dear person from in your life who used to nurture you care for you uh, but the world has come to it, the world has come full circle. So you have completed the journey with this person, or this person's journey is complete. So you need to accept that and uh, not cry over it. Accept it and start your new beginning because the fool card is here. How do I show you this card? The fool card is here. Forget about this person. If this person comes good but you have the world card so probably things are going to end and you have to make a new beginning so that was the last card of the tarot deck and this is the first card of the tarot deck so you have completed an entire journey uh, here um, Leo and by the end of the month you are feeling like you can start afresh with a, a good mindset here as soon as I say that don't mind Leo but your uh, seven of uh, sword is being clarified by two fi two fire sign which is knight of wands and the king of wands so someone who is a fire sign like a leo sagittarius or a aries sun moon rising this person has been keeping a secret with you um, it can mostly be you yourself you are lying to yourself or you are not being true to yourself about your emotions or something uh, because the bot uh, below the seven of swords is also the father of wands which is again you so uh, i think uh, you are not committing to some of you are not committing to a certain situation you are running away from it but you need to uh, commit to some work or a relationship let me see what is the bottom of the deck yes there is someone juggling two people or they are not able to balance their professional and personal life uh, so they need to commit probably to one thing further clarify this seven of uh, swords for the Leo Sun Moon Rising yes the fool and the magician so again some of you are heavily dealing with the Aries person Sun Moon Rising and the magician and the fool are the Aries card so someone who was a very trickster someone who was uh, magical or whatever but uh, you have to start something new you have all the resources uh, some, someone was tricking uh, someone in the past some deception was there it can still be going on it's not in the past because uh, it's a bottom of the deck I think your entire month uh, will be a bit of a deception so it's up to you how you um, work around it because um, whoever you are dealing with 
is a um, magician so they will uh, they have all the resources uh, available to them now uh, what is blocking uh, leo sun moon rising april 2018 what is blocking leo sun moon rising april 2018 what is blocking leo from moving forward what are the blockages for the sign of leo victim you you are playing victim kya leo if you are playing a victim leo then uh, that is your problem that is your blockage why are you playing the victim are you playing the victim and you think that people will sympathize with you if that is the case then believe me leo no one has time for that no one is going to give their shoulder for you to cry because right now everybody is because astrologically every planet the planets right now are such that that no one is going to pay attention to you they are they are having their own burdens they are starting their own things and uh, even if you are playing the victim it's uh, weighing heavy on you because uh, if you want people to understand your situation even though you are the victim i am not saying you are not the victim i'm just saying even if you are the victim people are not going to sympathize with you uh, they might sympathize with you for like half an hour but then it's just you so how are you going to come out of that situation is all by yourself no one is going to wait around with you no one is going to give you you support all the time so you have to change your perception about something the card here is perception change your perce perception about a situation also you are some of you are indulging in gossip please leave that uh, your heart chakra is blocked leo uh, so please kindly meditate on your uh, heart chakra and heal it uh, you can find videos on youtube uh, for um, clearing heart chakra blockages please focus on that what are the advice cards for leo sun moon rising courage courage what is the advice for you some of you need to focus on your uh, health as well uh, and abundance is coming up and for uh, bottom of the deck is beauty so for some of you beauty of the inner self is more important here because when beauty is felt from within your gorgeousness will glow something related to beauty some, probably some of you are beautifying something like something and courage courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down wellness a healthy body wellness a healthy body mind spirit thrives with a constant flow of balanced energy abundance so where, wherever you are heading after healing yourself after having that courage to heal yourself moving away from a situation that's not serving you you will have abundance harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver so if you want something don't think about the negative like what if i won't get it what if it will fail blah 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 don't think about all that think about what if i win what if i make it what if i uh, am the person who is uh, going to uh, make this happen and what if i will succeed what if i i i will still fall in love with someone bet even better than this other person be the hunter not the hunted i think some of you are dealing with a gemini person be the hunter not the hunted uh, also some of you could be dealing okay lot of people are getting abundance at, as their advice card i think a taurus got it um gemini got it cancer got it now you also have it uh, and most of the people were also having uh, empress and emperor coming up in their reading so something is up with that seeing the true you so i think most of us here are just focused on uh, getting the perfect partner for ourselves but before that you need to just look at yourself who you are and realize what you want who how are you actually like probably you just feel that you are certain way but you are a different way and people perceive you differently and Uh, seeing the true you you need to spend some time with your own self and uh, not focus or indulge uh, with other people for some time because you need to understand understand yourself better to heal yourself all right 
so leo that was your reading for the april uh, if you need a personal reading you can contact me uh, i'll see you next month and if you like this video if it resonated with you please drop me a comment that would be uh, really really encouraging so please do that i love you bye bye